What is up, my peeps? Joshua Smith at GSD Mode Studios with another weekly leveling up episode. And today I'm here to talk to you about motivation and why motivation is absolute and utter bullshit and why you must never try to rely on it. So real quick, before I get into today's content, make sure if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. Once you hit that, hit that bell, which will ensure that you are alerted every time we create one of these new episodes so you don't miss out on this great content that hopefully helps you crush it in your life and in your business. If you're listening to this on iTunes, Stitcher, Anywhere Audio, make sure when you are done with this to give us a five-star raving review. All of this helps us grow the show, continues to allow us and myself to uh, continue creating great content for you guys, allows us to get bigger guests on the podcast that we all want to hear from. So that is just how you can support the show if you enjoy what you're listening here. So I uh, truly appreciate you guys, truly appreciate being here. And again, we are here to talk about motivation and why it is utter and absolute bullshit. Look, you guys, the reality is, is motivation is just something that truly doesn't exist. Now, when I say this, there are times, of course, that we all feel motivated, right? So why am I saying it's bullshit? Why am I saying it doesn't exist, man? It's not like I'm contradicting myself up here, right? Look, there, there are times and days where I'm like, yeah, man, I'm, I'm like, I want to work today. I want to do this action today, right? I want to go to the gym today. But most of the time, 80, 90, 95, it's not something I track, you know, right? But the vast majority of the time, it doesn't exist. And so many people are waiting to either get into a state of motivation or waiting for something or somebody to show up and motivate them or somebody to come along and help them. And the reality is, you guys, is that thing, whether it's a person or, or, or uh, something, you know, right, that happens, life, whatever, it just isn't going to arrive. So don't ever wait on it to arrive. The reality is the reason that we don't feel motivated, and this is something I learned from Mel Robbins, uh, she spent so much time in in-depth research studying this exact topic right here, which is like, why do I not do, and why don't I have the desire and want, which leads to the not taking action on the important things I need to be doing that will allow me to create the life that I know that I want, why am I not doing those things? Why instead do I go to the things that are easy to do in the moment that don't give me any of the shit, that give me the opposite of what I want? Why do I keep doing those things? That was the question she just kept asking herself over and over and over, did an insane amount of research on, um, and uh, 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 boiled it down to uh, the per- just a, a protection mechanism with the brain. Yeah, right? Our brains are wired for protection. Your brain wants to consume energy, it wants to make things very easy, right? It, 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 our brains aren't wired, our little monkey brains aren't wired for all the complexities that exist in the world today, right? And, and our brains were constructed and wired to be very effective thousands of years ago, right? Where f- we actually needed the fight or flight, you know, right? Where, where those things would kick up and exist because we're getting risk to be eaten by a damn bear. And again, if you want to check out Mel Robbins on this topic, she can explain it so much more diligent and brilliantly than I can, right? But the reality is, is it is just something that all of us human beings are wired to have or not have. So those that appear to have motivation, right? Like I get asked all the time, man, how do you stay so motivated? How do you stay so inspired? Like, how do you keep getting it done every day? Right now, to an outsider looking in, that may, per, that may be the perception, but it's not the reality. And this is where we got to quit comparing ourselves to others, right? You guys, like, like when I show up on these videos, man, like, look, we have a dedicated time for these videos each week. I get mentally prepared for them, you know, right? Like, I'm in here. I might have just come from a meeting. I didn't today, but there's been other times. Like, I come out of a meeting down the hall in my conference room in a big, important meeting where, like, I'm in a bad mental state, pissed off, maybe something not going good or, you know, whatever. And then I got, like, I, I got to click. I got to show up here differently. So, uh, uh, you know, what you always see isn't always what the reality is. Every single morning when I wake up, I do not want to wake up and get the day started, but I do it anyway. Yeah, right? And again, there's days where I might have be motivated to get out there and kick, kick ass that day, but most days I'm like, fuck, I just want to roll back over and sleep in, right? Then it's like, okay, well, I got to get my ass out of bed, so I choose to just do the action anyway, right? Because it really just comes down to what matters most. Right? My, my desire to stay in bed, right? doing the easy things that are going to lead to this hard life or the hard things that are going to lead to this great life. I got to always choose the hard thing. You know, right? it's, it's like, uh, uh, I don't know, you could go to Olive Garden and eat 
you know, some pizza or whatever you love eating, or you could have the kale, you know, kale chicken, grilled chicken salad that tastes like shit, right? Well, the, 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 the good tasting thing that's easy to eat, easy to do, isn't gonna get you the more positive, better result, right? And it's just, it's just how all things in life go. So you gotta, you gotta always be playing, it's a mental game with yourself, right? Your, your biggest competition is your own self. And this is what you have to learn to control. Right? We all have that inner voice that's always speaking to us. Oh, I just want to do this. Oh, I deserve to do this. Oh, you should relax. You should do this. Or I don't want to do that. Right? You got to tell that voice to shut the fuck up and not listen to it. That voice is not you. As Roy Vaden talks about in Take the Stairs, he calls that voice. He's like, picture a doll sitting on your shoulder. Right? And he calls him Mr. M for Mr. Mediocrity. Right? He's like, and that voice isn't you. It's not you actually talking. Because if it's you talking, then who's listening? That voice is the voice of society, the domestication of society. It's the voice of mediocrity. It's trying to get you to play small. Right? So anytime that inner voice hits and it's wanting you to be lazy, right? you got to understand that that's the voice called Mr. M. Shut up, Mr. M, Mrs. M. Right? That's the voice of mediocrity. you got to choose to do the hard thing that you don't want to do all, uh, uh, throughout the day. Yeah, right? Not all of it's got to be hard and not want to do it, but there's going to be those tasks. I have tasks each and every day that I don't want to do that are difficult to do that I'd rather be doing something easier, but I choose to do them anyway. Right? Um, and over time, cool thing is, is there, there's nothing that breeds motivation like action. Right? That, that, that's the only way I've ever found true motivation is when I start getting in action and then the, the amount of taking the action and completing the right things and you start getting those wins and those start compounding, right? Well, then, man, you want, you, it, it builds excitement. It builds like you're now an inspired action to do those things. So that's the reality of it, you guys. And, and the reason I brought this up is this week, so what do we hear? Wednesday as we're creating this video. Um, I've had at least a dozen times this week people reach out to me because we've been talking a lot about goal setting and business planning for 2020 coming up for the next year, you know, and all my companies as well as my coaching programs. And I've had at least a dozen, whether it's been teammates or coaching clients, uh, hit me up just saying, man, I'm just struggling with motivation. It's just like, I can't get motivated to, to, for 2020. I can't, like, I'm just, I'm burnt out. I'm not feeling the motivation. And I'm like, look, like we, we you know, right? And I'm not gonna go into to the responses because I already covered that in the first part of this video. But that's what inspired me to create this video today. So quit searching for it, quit seeking it, just do the hard shit, stay in action, and get it done. Get shit done, GSD mode, baby. All right, so real quick, before we uh, close down here, before, we, before I go away, make sure to check out gsdmode.com where you can uh, check out other great leveling up episodes just like this one, as well as a bunch of other content or podcast interviews or weekly real estate tips, other resources. Uh, and uh, cool shit on there, all free, that can help you grow your uh, life and business. Also, if you're a real estate agent, make sure to check out growmyrealestatebusiness.com. So this is a free three-hour in-depth online training where I just pack in everything. Everything I know, everything I've learned in my 14-plus years uh, journey of creating success in real estate, becoming one of the top real estate agents and team leaders on the planet, where it's like, okay, in three hours, I give you every the most powerful piece of advice that I possibly could, go extremely in depth with it, give you all the resources that you need to have success while you're on the training, as well as all the guides and steps and instructions for afterwards so you can implement, execute, and take action. It's all 100% free. So check out growmyrealestatebusiness.com. Make sure to also check out our free Facebook group, the GSD Mode Podcast Real Estate Group. Uh, check that out. There'll be links below wherever you're watching and listening where you can jump in there and join those. It's a 100% uh, private, free group for real estate agent entrepreneurs. Uh, to mastermind and help give you the support and inspiration and continue to grow your business and kick ass in this journey. Very strict no selling policy in there. So you don't have to worry about any of that bullshit. So I hope to see you in that, in that group. Again, check out growmyrealestatebusiness.com and gsdmode.com. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.